Hi guys, today we would like to introduce electrophoresis. It is a scientific laboratory technique that is used to separate DNA, RNA, or protein molecules. It's a simple, sensitive, and essential tool for molecular separation and chemical analysis in clinical and research laboratories. The phenomenon of electrophoresis was first observed in 1807 by Russian professors at Moscow University. They noticed clay particles migrated in water subjected to a continuous electric field. In 1937, Tesselius in Sweden improved the electrophoresis instrument and created the Tesselius electrophoresis instrument. He won the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1948 for his research on electrophoresis and absorption analysis, especially for his discoveries concerning the complex nature of the serum proteins. It was successfully used to separate proteins and DNA or RNA beginning in Electrophoresis is a method of separation wherein charged particles migrate in different speeds in an applied electric field. We know that charged molecules under the influence of the electric field migrate towards oppositely charged electrodes. Those molecules with a positive charge move towards the cathode, and negative molecules move towards the anode. So the migration is due to the charge on the molecules and applied the electrodes. No electrodes, no migration. When the electricity is applied from B, we see these molecules start moving to their respective electrodes. The sample under test is placed at one end of the well near one of the electrodes. Sometimes we put the sample close to the negative. The sample NDA, RNA, or protein will migrate follow the electric field. The movement of sample is influenced by the molecular weight of the molecule. Based on the nature of the supporting medium, it is one of the following types. One, agarose gel electrophoresis. Agarose gel electrophoresis is a method for separating and analyzing biomolecules. It involves heating a solution of agarose, adding appropriate buffers in electrophoresis samples before the agarose solidifies, and then subjecting the sample to an electric field causing it to move towards the anode, thus separating and purifying biomolecules such as DNA, RNA, and proteins. Agarose gel electrophoresis is a simple, fast, low-cost, and efficient technique for biological analysis. Two is polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis, or PAGE. PAGE uses polyacrylamide gel as a separation medium for separating and purifying proteins into different protein bands allowing proteins to be separated and purified according to their size, charge, and shape differences. In this process, the pore size of the polyacrylamide gel can be controlled. So the pore size can be adjusted by changing the gel concentration and ratio to separate proteins of different sizes. Compared to agarose gel electrophoresis, PAGE has higher resolution and sensitivity and can separate proteins with very similar molecular weights. Three is cellulose acetate electrophoresis. It involves heating a solution of cellulose acetate with a buffer and adding the electrophoresis sample before it cools and solidifies. Then, under the influence of an electric field, the sample moves towards the anode, separating and purifying proteins and other biomolecules. During electrophoresis, molecules with different sizes, charges, and lengths move at different speeds in the cellulose acetate gel resulting in separation with characteristics such as molecular weight or size distribution. Cellulose acetate electrophoresis is a simple, fast, and low-cost analytical technique. Four is capillary electrophoresis. Capillary electrophoresis, or CE, is a highly efficient technique used for separation and analysis of biomolecules based on differences in their charge and size. CE works by applying an electric field to a small capillary, which separates molecules in the sample based on their size and charge. The advantages of CE include high separation speed, high resolution, high sensitivity, low sample volume requirements, and automation. It can be applied to various types of molecules, including proteins, nucleic acids, sugars, drugs, and organic molecules. In our channel, there is an introduction to the application of electrophoresis in the field of biology and life sciences. Please continue to follow up, and thank you for watching.